That's right, folks. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Dice Tower Christmas Buying Guide. This is a series of videos. Uh, all these games that we're talking about are available online. You can find them at funagaingames.com. Let's get to the video. Welcome to the Dice Tower, a video show all about board games. Today, we bring you part of our 2012 Christmas Buying Guide. Today, we'll take a look at five games. Our category is... Hey, I'm Tom Vassell, and this is the littlest Vassell, Ruby Vassell. And today, we're going to be talking about kids' games. And this is one category that I have a very special affinity towards, kids' games, because I love, I want kids to play games. So we'll take a look at uh, five kids' games. Let's do it. Our first game is, an, is an, uh, an older game, but one that's still available and a good one. This one is Animal Upon Animal. Now, the thing that's fun about Animal Upon Animal, and Ruby has actually played this with us before, is basically you have these wooden animals and you're stacking them on top of each other, trying not to make the whole thing fall over. And so you have these wooden animals and kids love that and it's a bit of a uh, strategy game. And there's actually several versions of this. There, this is the smaller version, there's a bigger version and you can combine the versions and make different animals as they stack. And it can be a lot of fun as you put the animals there and <gasps> who knocked them over? You. Oh, I think it was you. But anyhow, no, it was it was definitely me. But it's a fun game that can be played back and forth with kids. It has good, strong components. And even if the kids get tired of playing the game, it works especially well for younger kids because they can go around and play with the little pieces and have fun playing with the animals. Although, you're really doing a good job stacking those. So, and uh, adults have trembling hands usually. You don't, can't put things on as well as kids. And so it can be a fair game for parents to play with their kids. Works for all ages, I think. Um, it says not for zero through three, so I guess you shouldn't be touching it. But I played it with three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I played it with all my kids and they all enjoyed it. That's animal upon animal. The next game is a new game called Chef Cuckoo. Now in Chef Cuckoo, it's just a small tin of a game. It comes with some little stars that you can use for victory points. But what Chef Cuckoo does is it has a whole bunch of cards with ingredients on them, like snails and chips and cheese and uh, beans and bacon and garlic and pineapple. And each turn, one person draws a card, like they might draw worst pizza or they might draw best omelet. Whatever they draw, everyone else picks three cards and puts them together. So let's make the best, let's make the best uh, salad. So give me three cards for the best salad. And we're gonna play against three cards off the top of a deck and we'll see if Ruby picks three cards. So give me three cards for the best salad, just three of them. So go ahead and give me three cards, Ruby. Okay, one, two, and three. So Ruby says the best salad here would include cheddar cheese, snails, and tuna. The deck snails? says, <laughs> yeah, I know. Is that good? No. Pastrami, no. jam, and crab. Uh, well, I'm not a big, I don't, snails are okay. Uh, jam doesn't seem like it would fit into this, so I'm gonna pick yours. Snails in the salad, thank you. And that's all it is. Basically, you don't know whose deck you're picking, uh, but it's a lot of fun as kids try to make either delicious combinations or gross combinations. Very fun, entertaining for the whole family, but kids will especially get a kick out of it. That's Chef Cuckoo. Piece of cake. Now the version I have here has the uh, the German name on it, but piece of cake is a very simple game because it comes with giant slices of cake. Don't those look yummy? So delicious. Now this is a game for the older kids, really. It, it says eight eight years and up, and, I, and that's really what it is. Because what you do each turn is you're gonna take 11 of these slices and put them together on a table and make a giant cake. And then one person is gonna separate that cake into 
pieces equal to the number of players, and then every other player gets to pick a piece, and the person who split it up gets the last piece. So the person splitting it up certainly tries to make them fair because the pieces are worth different points. They have whipped cream on them, so you can eat them right away and get points equal to the whipped cream, or you can save it to the end of the game and hope that you have the most of these. Do these look delicious? Which one is your favorite? I like the chocolate one. That one looks good. I like the green ones. The grapes? Yep. Yep, or those are actually probably berries. But uh, a lot of fun. The visual effect looks really good as you put the pie on the table, and kids will get a kick out of it because everyone understands the whole aspect of I divide, you choose. What, what did you say about this game? Yep. It's a ducky game. That's right. There's little ducks in this game. Duck Duck Safari comes with little ducks, a tiger duck, a lion duck, a monkey duck, a zebra duck, an elephant duck, and then a little duck hunter. And there's actually five games that you can play with this game in here. There's Hilo Hijinks, and there is Animal Hunt, and there's Savannah, and there's Herds and Safari Spirit. And so you have these ducks, and then you have a set of cards. And maybe one game is kind of play like memory match with the cards. Another game is you have all the ducks in a line, and you're trying to get your duck to the front of the line by playing cards. So the games actually have a wide variety of uh, basically who the, they're good for. This one's good for six and older. This one's good for 10 and older. This one's good for eight and older. This one's good for six and older and eight and older. So there's a nice variety, but there's five games in the box. Your kids are gonna love playing with these anyway. Do you like playing with ducks? Sure. Ducks are fun. We can play with ducks here on the table, right? So uh, they'll, they'll like playing with the ducks. They'll like that visual effect. The artwork is cute on the cards. And if you hate three of the games, you still have two games you do like. So I think this is a good bang for your buck and your kids are gonna just really wanna snatch it up as soon as they see it because of the cute little ducks. So that's Duck Duck Safari. like some sort of dexterity game for kids and this one is a lot of fun because in this game it's barbecuing now who doesn't like the barbecue and what you do in this game essentially is you're going to be placing this barbecue uh, piece down on this thing and then you snap it into place essentially let's snap it into place and then I put this piece on top of it and then you will take cards and draw these cards and then use the tongs here that Ruby has and pick up plastic pieces and carefully place them on this thing. And you can see that as long as you place them on, if you place them on lightly, they'll be fine. But if you mess up while you're placing, it pops off and all the pieces come off. And kids really like that aspect of, the, of placing them on. Do you want to put a piece on? All right, go ahead and put a piece on. Don't, don't make it fall off. Here we go. <gasps> Good, now my turn. Okay, I'm gonna put the hot dog on. Okay, your turn. And you can go back and forth, and kids get a real kick out of it. It's kind of like uh, Operation or any game that makes things pop. Oh, good. Oh, be careful. Okay, now daddy's gonna put the corn on. Daddy! What? <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry. So anyhow, the kids will get a kick out of it. Yes, there's not a whole lot to it other than watching things pop and go all over the place, but it is fun for kids and one that you can certainly find easily this Christmas season. So those are our five kids games. I hope those give you at least a clue of where to start. Like I said, I'm a big proponent of kids games. There are tons of good ones out there. You can always check out our Dice Tower reviews to find out more about them. But until then, Merry Christmas. Can you say Merry Christmas to everybody? Merry Christmas. Thanks so much for watching The Dice Tower. You can find all the games mentioned today at www.funagaingames.com. Fun Again Games has the world's best selection of board games. Get them now in time for Christmas. If you found this guide useful, pass it on. Tell others, maybe even give it to someone as a guide for what to buy for you. Reviews of most of these games with more details can be found at dicetower.com. Thanks for watching.